Hi, we can do so many different things with air dry clay and today we're going to be doing some air dry clay imprinting. So I hope you come and join me. We've got 18 different ways and they're lots of fun. Come and see. First, we're going to make some tools to imprint into the air dry clay using air dry clay. Make a little ball so you can pinch it with your fingers, then create a flat surface and then take any sort of tool, any sort of implement to make an indent and here I'm making a little flower shape. Stay with me to the end and I'll show you how I imprint with them and I'll make some more too. I've let these dry fully and then you just need to make sure you seal them so use whatever you have at home. You can use Mod Podge or anything similar to that. Fabric can give really interesting textures too. Here I have three strands and I'm simply plaiting them to give them a little bit of texture but you can look around your home and see any other fabrics that might have a really good texture in them that you can use as well. I've made a big long strand of this but you could just do a small section and press an imprint like this. That gives really good texture and I think gives a nice soft luxury feel. Alternatively you could take a rolling pin or something round and simply wind this around and we can use it as a roller. So neatly secure both ends in place. It needn't be permanent, you can take it off again at the end and then you simply can just roll it on like you can buy lots of rollers that do this too but why not make a homemade one? The simplest of tools can make really nice textures so just think of things a little bit differently, use them on their side, use them in different ways to create different patterns as I do here. You can make this into a little coaster or you could do a vase and then add the textures around. There's so many possibilities and just give everything a go and experiment and I think this looks quite nice. Another similar one, but this time using lids. There can be lots of different unusual textures on the lids, so just give it a go. And I think this looks really lovely. Using beads is also another simple and effective way to create texture and imprints. And isn't nature just absolutely stunning? A practice with different parts of the shell, I think this is one of my favourite textures here. I absolutely think that's beautiful. From just a few shells you can get so many different textures. And how about digging into the toolbox? This large screw makes a really good pattern here and nobody would ever know that you've used a screw to create it. It's so simple and effective and of course you can use the end of it too. I rolled the screw in the opposite direction to make this really beautiful pattern. There's some really interesting shapes on cutlery, so of course I had to give this a go too. You could make a little coaster like this, or choose to imprint any of your items, any of your air dry clay items, and see what patterns and results you get. Here I created a mini roller on a cocktail skewer, and simply find anything that you could slot on and then roll it in the clay. You can do your imprinting and then you can simply cut the shapes you want. I absolutely love this one. I dried some oranges out in the oven on a nice cool oven for a little while and I'm just going to use these to imprint and I think it's a gorgeous natural looking piece that I end up with and I think you should definitely give this one a go. Look it's gorgeous, I love it. And if you've tried something one way, have a think how could you use it a little bit differently and create another gorgeous pattern. With this one I create a nice long coil of air dry clay. I cut it up into equal sections, form little balls. Then here I have a bead headed pin and you could use anything similar to this. You could even use a pencil if that's what you have, a chopstick or anything. And just push the little ball into the clay. I'm using quite a thick square section of clay here so that I've got enough room to push down into. 
You could add some air dry clay slip in between if you want to, but I find if I press them down enough and then I'm using a damp brush here to blend it all in and then I will lacquer or varnish over the top to keep everything in place. I'm going to make this into a little coaster so I'm simply just rolling over the top there to keep them a little bit flat so my mug can sit on there and I think it's quite beautiful and unique. Another way is to find some plastic toys and just use the imprints of those. Craft stamps work really well in air dry clay too. Just simply press them in as much as you need to and then you can go in and paint them afterwards if you wish to as well. They come in all different shapes and sizes so they're really great for this. I love my hot glue gun so of course I had to give that a try. I've just got an old tin lid here and I'm simply just quickly adding on a shape. You can be a bit more neat than I have been there but I just wanted to show an example. So I'm pressing that down and it really didn't give that good an imprint like that. So what I've done is just neatly taken it off, press it down with something flat and that's left us with a much better imprint. As I did some foliage there from hot glue, I thought I may as well do some real plants and so you can get absolutely anything you like with some nice, nice texture in and you simply pull those out just as lots of people we've seen doing this and it seems to be a real favourite for imprinting clay. So that was quite pretty but sometimes the simplest of things work out the best and I think that's really quite pretty. I've got some empty cotton reels here and some buttons and I'm simply just going to glue these on so I've got my own little stamps and you can create these with absolutely anything, some little beads or anything that has nice texture and just make a little stamp by adding something, you could use a, a cork or a little piece of wood or anything to make a, your own little stamps. And here I've just covered a little pot with some clay and simply stamping these on. So you can get as creative as you wish and create your own pattern. You can create your own rollers by taking a jar, I've just filled this one with some water to give it a bit more weight and I'm using my hot glue again and I'm simply sticking on these foam stickers that have got a bit of texture to them and you can cover the whole jar and make it as big as you like and then you simply use this as your rolling pin and it works really wonderful. And just as an example you could make something cute like a little napkin ring. So I think you get the gist of it. If you just find anything around your home, anything in nature, give it a go and see what textures you come up with. My little clay tools are all nice and dry now, so I've been having a little play and they make some beautiful patterns and I really hope you give this a go. I've got a little um, cocktail stick here and just going round and making some more patterns around with it. And as you can see, air dry clay imprinting is so much fun, so many possibilities and I hope you just get creative and have a play and enjoy and try and incorporate these into some of your other air dry clay projects. Maybe have a change from painting the air dry clay and just do some imprinting and then seal it at the end. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.